The gun was stored in a box containing a new hoverboard. The preliminary investigation indicates that the victim found the box, subsequently opened the box, found the gun, and accidentally discharged the gun. Police say they're working to identify where the gun came from that killed Kiaris Samuels yesterday at his home on the 6,000 block of Shenandoah Lane. Kiaris' grandmother, Melissa Coleman, says there is no way her daughter knew a gun was inside the hoverboard box. She says her daughter bought what appeared to be just the hoverboard from someone selling a variety of items. Somebody over north, but the box was taped up, so that's what, with the box being taped, she had no idea. Police say Kiaris was in a bedroom by himself when he opened the box to find the gun inside. Coleman says she thinks the gun somehow fired. I don't know if he thought it was a toy. Plymouth police say once they identify the gun owner, they will be charging that individual in connection to the death of Kiaris. Coleman says her daughter remains in shock. She don't know what to do. She don't know if she's coming or going. She she don't have no answers. She don't. She got questions and she she just. She just can't believe it because that's her. She got to try to hold it together for the other three kids. Kiaris was a first grader in the YZ school district and the school district released a statement today saying they were deeply saddened by this tragic news and is offering extra support for students affected by Kiaris's death. It's so tragic. Thank mm. you, Sharon.